Hi, I'm Carrie Kirkham, and you're sipping with the Wine Fox. With me today is 2019 Verada Reserve Pinot Noir Tri County. It consists of three different vineyard sources. So it is 46% Santa Barbara County, 23% Napa, and 31% Monterey. And it is quite the lovely sipper. Look at that beautiful color. Really nice color. Um, it's in the $20 range and it is a Total Wine and More exclusive. So you can find this exclusively at Total Wine and More. Uh, the winemaker's name is Allison Crow, and I'll tell you a little bit more about her later. But let's get to the wine. Beautiful, rich, saturated color. This is the second day I've had it open. The, uh, I drank half of the bottle for the first day, and this is my second day. And it's still beautiful. It held up very nicely. I recommend, by the way, to store your open bottles in the fridge. If they're just normal everyday wines, uh, the fridge won't hurt them, and it, it preserves the, the flavors a little bit better. The sulfites don't have to work as hard to preserve the wine. So, okay, on the nose, I get... I get cherries, lavender, brown sugar, and baking spices, but it's really big on cherry. Cherry, cherry, cherry. It's telegraphing that cherry. Okay, so on the palate. I get that dark, rich Luxardo cherries. If you look forward to that cherry at the end of your Manhattan, this is like a glass of that, that Luxardo cherry. Mm. Right now my husband's making dinner and I'm sipping wine, living the dream. Um, I wrote all day today about wine, which is great. Mm. But back to the taste. I love this. It's like, it's hard to taste it because I just want to drink it. <laughs> Again, Luxardo cherries. Get a little bit of strawberry. And a little bit of, um, little hits of blood orange. There's this very soft mocha finish. Baking spices maybe some black tea and wet stones. There's a lot going on here for a Pinot in the $20 range. I've had wines cost twice as much, not taste half as good as this. I will say that oak is uh, a player here. I really do get, I get the fruitiness and I get the oak. Um, but that oak spice is really there. It's not planky, but it is spicy. That's where that mocha baking spice comes from. Right now my husband's making dinner, so if you hear noises in the background, he's cooking away. Oh man, this is a wine, this is a Pinot that I love to sniff and sip. Mm. Okay, so the winemaker grows the grapes and makes the wine, so she has a lot of say on the end product. It's like this is her signature and fountain pen, and, and the ink is dry, and it, it's just... It's just beautiful. Uh, grown, certifiably sustainable, uh, and it's also made vegan. So if you're a vegan, um, this this is a good wine for you. Um, it If she did fine, she didn't use any animal products in the fining of it, but I can't imagine her fining her wines because she's such a sharp winemaker. I would imagine she'd get it right, right out of the gate. So that concludes... Um, my tasting of this wine. Mm. Again, it's um, exclusively available from Total Wine and More. It is 2019 Verada Reserve Pinot Noir Tri County. And to that, I say cheers. But I want to talk, I just want to talk a little bit about some of my wine industry experience as it involves uh, Allison Crow. So you'll hear me mention her wines a lot because I'm a big fan of hers. Uh, I also consider her a friend, but 
in a way, I'm harder on my friends' wines than the wines of winemakers I don't know. Uh, business is business, and I really care about my reputation and making sure I present wines that I know are going to delight people. And, and this is definitely one of them. But how I came to meet Allison was back in 2011, I was a wine industry journalist, and I was writing for the wine trade, and I was sent uh, to UC Davis to complete their wine business executive program. So I went to the wine business executive program, and Allison was one of the instructors, one of the winemaking instructors. And she was just fantastic. I really enjoyed her class, and I just liked her right away. And then I tried some examples of her wines, and it's like, who is this person? She's amazing. I want to get to know her wines. I want to know who she is. And I interviewed her for several articles because she has such great industry experience. And that's how I got to know her. And we've been friends for, yeah, more than 10 years now. And I, I just love her wines. And you'll hear me year after year. Uh, I review her Pinot Noir, uh, Kirkland Pinot Noir. So if you go to Costco and you see um, Kirkland Carneros Pinot Noir comes out once a year. And it quickly sells out because it is an excellent, amazing bargain. She makes that. So Kirkland Pinot Noir, you'll turn the label around and see the back label and it, if it says Allison Crow, it is a great deal in Pinot. I, I buy several bottles every year just to have it around as a everyday sipping wine for people who have mortgages and retirements to save for and college debt to pay off, but yet you still want to enjoy something really delicious. Um, <clears throat> so really hats off to Allison uh, and I'm really, really, I'm really enjoying this wine. Very good. It's it's making for a lovely evening. Um, I finished my work early, and so mm. I'm going to make work of the rest of this bottle. So to that, I say cheers and carpe uvum.